In the beginning, there was an idea, idea in which the great general power would betray American army, because he would be a Russian spy. Because of the ideas, the new progress have been made, and the idea disappeared in time itself. As the time continued, the idea from past came back, and the question appeared. What will happen if we stop power from self-destruction and stop him ourselves? And that's why we used wisdom from a great document. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and provide new guards for their future security. What we will do is not kill him where he is the weakest. We do what's right, and that's why we're gonna fight Powell during his maximum regeneration power. During that time, he is almost unkillable. But thanks to our wisdom, and the game will succeed. There are only few possibilities of completing that task. But one of the most important things is what we have done in previous mission. Jesus, is there anyone out there? Don't, it's me. I'm on the road north of Delta. Hurry. You have to hurry. What's happening? Who's in command there? No one. I'm the only one left alive. Please, help me, John. Please. I heard the broadcast, Lieutenant. You can't sacrifice the world for one woman. The fate of mankind depends on us now. If we left John to die, we won't be able to kill Powell because of mission time. But most important, leaving John to die will bring the catastrophe to us. That catastrophe is brother of Burlak, Ivanovich Gorky. Coming of Ivanovich Gorky will mean the breaking of the code, which would destroy or plan to destroy Powell at the end. The IE of Power Army won't do what it had to do, meaning the true power of General won't come to the light. Oh my god, who is that? Identify yourself. I'm sorry for my friends, but you call me Comrade Gorky. John McMillan, Commander in Chief, US Army. Ah, we heard that name so many times when the little one kept praying for you to rescue her. Joan? That was the one. She was beautiful. <laughs> Not any longer. You bastard. You'll pay. I swear it. As our first try, we started at the oldest version of the game, which could be bought in the past itself. In this Jack? version of game, yeah, your team is joining exactly. you one by one. So the last person Jack? which would join you have to get shot to the red health bar. That tactic will allow you to go anywhere you want and stop Power from progressing his story. Our plan a few flaws in it, but most important, we needed resources. The easiest way was to destroy Arabian base for mortars. Then, with everyone acquired with mortars and few medics, we should go to the Russian base, which have three bases with lots of resources. This way, we will be able to put a great defense against Powell, and it will only take us a few hours after making it many times in the past itself. We waited a few moments after continue the progress for attacks of Powell, which will start for great battle. Then the battle began. 138 rocket turrets shooting at the same spot with extra American soldiers equipped with rockets, which will bring the destruction even to Bahamut. The battle was long. The power 
had but quickly disappeared each time but quickly regenerated he was so close to dying it's so far away after a long time we decided to try our luck next battle this time we chose the help of old ways controlling otter it was needed for our journey to succeed to make sure the great general power we leave this war without a trace. We know one thing, 138 turrets weren't enough, so this time we used the greatest weapon in the game, the Cyberite rocket. Even if we won't be able to shoot him directly, the rotation level increases with each extra rocket. The people from other nations have helped us to create the last resting place for a great general power. He disappeared from this world without any traces, just memory and possibility. Even the greatest regeneration powers couldn't save him from the ancient war power. When he went into the last battle, he had the fame of a hero. He lived a naive life and the naive dead he found. Cyberite rockets rang him for the last time. Not a funeral bell. Thank you for watching and let the luck be with us.